Welcome to the weekly report. Authorities are struggling to battle the constant vandalism, poverty and mismanagement that plague the country's health system. Copper thieves have targeted the key infrastructure to sell them or for a profit. Trains run in between people's homes. If we cannot send technicians to go in there, we have to have 10 security guards to actually look after four people. The vandalism amounts to economic sabotage as the public has lost the cheapest means of transport while the rail flight has also been affected. And while this theft has crippled several key routes in Cape Town, the railway lines have since been occupied. NASA has proposed relocating this community, but host areas have raised concern that this measure will be unfair to others waiting decades for decent housing. The ANC hopes that its land-related bills will take the expropriation without compensation campaign forward after its bid to alter Section 25 of the Constitution failed. Questions have been raised about why it didn't go this route first. But ANC lawmaker Matole Mocheka says they wanted to take the people along this process and avoid court battles. A decade-long wish has become a reality as 10 Kramats in Cape Town have obtained a national heritage status. The declaration is said to be the first of many to come. The South African Muslim community says the move is a sign that Islam's history is finally being acknowledged. Oil spillages continue to haunt communities of the Niger Delta. The Nembe community is the latest to stage protests over a month-long spill due to a leaking wellhead. Since the 1970s, the region has accounted for an overwhelming majority of Nigeria's earnings, but it has come at the cost of the environment and livelihoods. The spirit of charity and caring for others is being celebrated through Radio 786's Toy for Joy campaign. Brand and Communications Manager Rushni Ali has encouraged parents to let their kids be part of the process of choosing or parting with a toy and to tell them who it's for. Four children's homes and two orphanages will benefit from this campaign. The deadline for donations is December 20th. Until January 2022, that's it for the weekly report.